What's up, everybody? I'm Soren Baker here on Unique Access. Today, joined by Seth Crew. Thanks for coming through, gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah, we're talking about best albums, and they have selected Wu Tang Clan, Enter the Wu Tang, 36 Chambers. So, why is this album one of your best albums in you guys' opinion? It seemed like they were, they kind of pioneered something, like they were pioneering the sound. I don't think everybody was really doing what they did. Right. At and, that time. And uh, they obviously kicked it all off with Protect Your Neck, which was very atypical because it had a, just a lot of rap in, not as much chorus. It wasn't a typical song structure. Sure. So when you guys were first hearing that, did that difference really make a mark to you, like as, as musicians yourselves? I don't, I don't even know that I, I don't even know that I noticed that then when I first heard the album. I just remember being caught up in all the characters and uh, just trying to match the names to the voices and really digging all the kung fu movie references and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, that's that. I feel like that definitely was the appeal. It was about like figuring out the personalities of each member of Wu Tang to identify them by voice, to figure out what it was that they were referencing because they are these this this thorough like you know almanac of references that they would drop on you that there was all this information out there behind it if you did took the time to do the research they were actually like you know talking about some real shit or whatever so it's yeah yeah because it was it was definitely i mean one of the songs is mystery and chess box and then there was a big mystery about them because you know they were speaking in a different type of language and then with so many voices and ghostface had the stocking cap on you know you didn't even see what he looked like in the videos or on an album cover, their all their faces were, were covered. Yeah, yeah. So with with all that being said, what was what made that fun or interesting to you guys to have to figure that out? It sort of unraveled or unveiled itself um, one by one as all their projects came out. It was like you know first the thirty six chambers, and you were trying to sort out who was who and. People would debate, you know, with, oh, well, that, you know, oh, that's Raekwon. No, that's actually you got that. This is Raekwon, <laughs> right, you know, like right, people, right. it was like debates back in the day. But as their album, you know, as Cuban Link comes out and then Takao comes out and like uh, all the all their different projects come out, then they all start to emerge as characters, but still interwoven with each other. And, and it was, you know, I don't know, they captivated people for four or five years, you know one by one dropping their solo projects and then dropping another Wu-Tang project and dropping more solo projects and like so that being said we hadn't seen this in a way because most of the groups even at that point they really had two rappers really at the maximum other than the old school people that didn't really have records like Cold Crush and Funky 4 Plus 1 more that didn't really evolve when records came out but you know you had like the Kid and Plays you had the Public Enemies sure. you had different groups EPMD but it was usually just two rappers. So when you have all these different voices, why do you think that added instead of distracted? Uh, uh, you know, I think probably uh, because uh, they all sounded so different from one another. You know what I mean? Had it been like nine guys who all sounded pretty much the same, you know, you know, you might have been less interested. But yeah, all these guys, all these guys had distinct different names and characteristics and things they referenced and uh, recurring phrases and the rhymes and, and things and that's what made you uh, want to be up on game and be able to tell who from who and, you know. Yeah, because the only other real prominent group off the top of my head was N.W.A., but they had such a short run that we didn't get to see the development and the evolution Absolutely. of how Ice Cube fit in with Easy e and with MC Ren and even Dre when he rapped because mm -hmm. that was such a short-lived movement sure, by comparison yeah. sure. whereas Wu-Tang you know it took them four years to put out an album but you know they had all the solo albums coming on awesome. uh, in the interim of that so um, for you guys with the sound what RZA and, and uh, even Old Dirty who did some, some work on there as well what was it about the sound that was so different and distinctive for you? Like gutter urban, uh, grimy, creepy, it's just, yeah, it's just really hard, you know, you know, hard ass, hard ass hip hop, right, that's, I mean, I feel, I feel like that's what I went to Wu-Tang for when I wanted to listen to it back in the day, I was like, this, this shit goes super hard, um, hey, these guys are talking about a bunch of grimy shit all right. the time, and it, it's, yeah, yeah, because even the more commercial songs like Cream, for instance, 
like that. It's about money and everything, but they flipped it in a different way to make not only an acronym, but also to make it something to strive for from a different perspective that we hadn't really seen. So when when you guys were hearing like the records like Cream, uh, what what were you guys taking away from it artistically? And again, at the time, I just really was, was caught up in the songs. You know, you, you, you gotta you gotta sit with sit with that sort of material as you as you, as you grow with it. Then we start picking out uh, different meanings that have always been there that, that you didn't realize. So at the time, I was just taking it in, but definitely as you start grinding whatever the hustle may be, you can reference an anthem like Cream and read in between the lines and, 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 and see it from a different angle. Yeah, man, I definitely use Cream as a, as motivation music and exactly what they meant it for. So I get my so yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there it is. We appreciate it, guys. For sure. That's Seth's crew talking about Wu-Tang Clan. Enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers here on Unique Access. Thanks, y'all. Yep. Sure.